Hey guys, and welcome to game number 98 out of 100 of my Human vs. AI series, where I'm taking on the AI-powered Scrabblebot best spot in a 100-game match. We are very much in the home stretch now, guys. Three games left to go, 42 wins, 55 losses heading into this game. Really hoping I can pull off wins in the last three games to get to 45 wins, but we'll see. I'm sure the bot isn't going to make it easy for me, so I'm going to need to play well, draw well, all of that stuff, and we'll see. The bot is first here and opens with Guy. I've got the Q, which I'm obviously going to want to get rid of. I was going to play Cot, but I don't think I can do that anymore. However, the good news is I do have a U to work with now, so I'm probably going to just play Loquat, or maybe Qual, actually. That looks good. AET is a good leave. Can't go too wrong with that. Yeah, the other option I was talking about was Loquat. One more point, but... EL versus E versus AET. AET is definitely a bit more likely to bingo, and all else being equal early in the game, I would probably rather prioritize that. So I'll go ahead and play Qual and hope for maybe an S and some good tiles on my next draw. Eh, it's not great. FV is pretty clunky to work with. I'll hopefully be able to play Fave, FAV, and get rid of it on my next turn, but we'll see. As of Right now, the board is not looking very good for this rack. It's definitely a, already an S-dependent board, as we would say, because we've got two major S-hooks now, guys and quals, and that's really the only way you're going to fit a 7 on this board. So getting an S would be very helpful. Okay, the bot plays Cilia, so bot seems to be dumping vowels. And how do I want to respond to that? Honestly, I think a reasonable play is Fave for 9, because this is a very strong leave. I set up Fave and Fava for 7s on row 12. I also set up a bingo line down the K column next to the F, making FE. So it's aggressive, but it's not like I can score all that much more. I mean, I don't think there's any merit to playing it here. It's five more points. The leave is worse. The A really helps me bingo. It only sets up one line hooking Fave that's easy for the bot to block. So I think I prefer this. Once I'm already not scoring much in fishing, I'd rather at least just maximize my bingo percentage. So... Yeah, let's do this and hope for a bingo. Yeah, that'll definitely bingo. There's five of them here. Nadir, Nitrate, Iterant, Intreat, and Tertian. So Nadir or Tertian play with Fave. And, uh, oh, Nitrate will play with F-E. So, okay, Sharn for 44. It's a cool play, but at least I forced the bot to use its S. So I guess Nitrate is the only playable bingo. Well, no, I actually have intranet through the end for 59 as well, but I don't see any good reason to do that. Nitrate has more points and doesn't give back another big S-hook. So, all right, yeah, that's the only seven that plays, right? Yeah, Iterant, Entreat won't fit, Nadir, and Tertian won't fit. So yeah, Nitrate it is. 69 points gets me, at least for now, into the lead in this game. We'll see how long that lasts. Okay. It's actually a pretty good draw, because I'm, I'm definitely not bingoing, but these tiles go fairly well together. KH, HM all go pretty well. The B isn't great, but I've got a bunch of scoring tiles, so I'm hoping I'll be able to score pretty well my next couple of turns. At the minimum, I'm threatening Thank for 48. That looks like a pretty clear play if it stays open. But I should have some other options, too. I see Hakeem. For 36, that's not bad. I see Khan over here for 38. So several reasonable choices, depending on what the bot does. Thank does seem best by a good margin, though, as the board currently stands. But we'll just have to wait and see how the bot wants to play this. And, okay, interesting. The bot plays Pout for 24, opening up a P in the triple-triple line. Uh, I don't think I have anything particularly good through the P, just because I already have so many consonants, heavy-hitting consonants, it's going to be pretty tough for me to get a good play there. In fact, I don't even see a whole lot at all, so I think I'm going to just stick to Thang. I'm not too worried about the P. It's pretty unlikely to triple-triple through it. And 48 is a lot of points. MBO is not, a, not the best leave ever, but it's certainly not bad. It's got some good scoring potential, so let's do that. Ugh. That's a very clunky looking draw there. And all right, gets down Emmetines for 64. It's not a huge amount of points though. And what am I gonna do with this? I was really hoping to just play like jam through the A and thank and clear out some of this stuff, but now I can't even do that. 
I kind of want to keep the M for plays with MM. I just don't have anything there now ending in like LM or anything. Huh. There's also this item insertion, but I don't have an E. How about like, I mean, I, I don't really want to play BAM, because like I said, I like keeping the M, but I might not have a choice. Anything with the Bs? Bab is not good. Babul, but needs two Os. You can't put anything in front of this T, because OT isn't good. I have like nothing with the P. I'm not going to play Plod, keeping JBBN. That's terrible. I might just have to play BAM here. I mean, I'm really not seeing a whole lot of other options here. It's still 27 points. If I can draw an E especially, then I'm in pretty good shape for next turn. And yeah, like I said, I'm just really not finding anything else that looks reasonable. So, all right. Yeah, let's, uh, let's play BAM. Ugh. Not at all what I wanted. Yeah, now the bot plays Vold. And this board is qu quickly getting closed in, I feel like, too. Yeah, I might trade a bunch here just because I really do not like my tiles. I want, I am I very badly need one of those blanks, I think, just to open this board and get back into this game. Because it's, it's not looking good now. I mean, I'm not down a ton. I just, I, I don't think I want to do something like Knob. It is 17 points, but this leave is just so bad, and there's nowhere to play the J on this board. Honestly, guys, I think I'm going to trade... Well, I want to be careful about trading 7, because it's a very Val-heavy pool. So I probably will keep a D, just for some balance, to offset the Val-heaviness of the pool. So like, I don't want to trade 6 constants and end up with 6 Vals. So I think trading 7 would probably be a little bit of an overreaction. But I do want to trade a lot, because I want turnover for those blanks and the S's especially, to try to set myself up for something. Yeah, I mean, I'm just literally not seeing anything here that's remotely worth playing. Knob is like the only half reasonable thing. I mean, I guess there's Jolt. BDDN, that's not worth it for 11 points at this point. No way. So, all right. Yeah, let's, uh, let's trade six. I think that's reasonable. And hopefully I get something decent. Okay. I mean, could have been worse, I guess. It's a lot of E's, but I'm glad I kept the D at least to offset some of those E's. That turned out to be a good decision. Not plays Guan. Yeah, the bot looks like it's not going to be that interested in reopening the board, but I'm not, I guess I'm not down a massive amount here. I'm down 50, so I think it's possible I could still come back on this board at some point, especially now that I have an S. Like, I'm not feeling a huge sense of urgency here. Could even just play V, shed two of these E's. This is a pretty good leave for scoring. Down what? Down 35. It's not a huge deficit, honestly. So it's a, yeah, because that's actually not a bad maybe two turn plan. Do this and then play something with end and then set up my S on the 14th row. That's not bad. I could also just set up my S now. Although I don't even know how. I mean, I'm not going to play Rye. It's too easy for the bot to get a big play there. That's just a little crazy. I also don't really want to play I. Like, see, I, I think I need to be patient here, guys, because I don't want to just give the bot a 40 or 50 point play and let it completely run away with this game. Like, I want to stay close. Like, at this score, where I'm not down a ton, like, staying close is more important than desperately trying to open up a line, I think. Anything through this P, actually? A speedy doesn't work. Ectype, almost. If I draw a T, I'd play Ectype. That would be a nice play. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play V, like I said. I don't really see anything else that's great. It's a very tight board. So I could play Duty here, probably on my next turn if I need to get rid of Consonants, because I don't want to keep three E's. So, all right, yeah, let's play V and see what I can get. Huh, X. Interesting. I'm not sure where I can play. I guess I could play Dexy. Yeah, Dexy is actually a good play, because it sets up ends. Could give back some scoring plays, but all right, well, Dexy is no longer possible. Oh, I have Ciders now. That's 50. Gets me within 10. I mean, that, that just has to be right, right? Like, totally worth playing the S. I mean, there's nothing else that's going to score nearly that many points. Doesn't give back a lot. So, all right, yeah, Ciders it is for sure. Okay, Prefix. 
but I don't think that's going to go down very easily. This is an amazingly tight board, guys. Like, there is, there are very few places to play words here. The P and Pallet is definitely going to be a key turning point. Like, it, at what point does someone play through this P and open the board? Does someone play through the P? There's still two blanks left. There's, like, nowhere to bingo at all. Like, literally, on this board, you can only bingo through the P. Okay, here we go. We're getting opened now. It sets up the S. I have to play prefix here, right? Or refix to set up the P? Nah, I don't think so. I think I have to play prefix. I, I, every, I want to turn over more tiles. Now, the one benefit, though, of saving the P, I mean, besides the hook, is it is a vowel-heavy pool. You know, let's think about this for a second here, guys, because it is a vowel-heavy pool, 13 vowels, 11 consonants. So keeping the P to offset the vowel heaviness does have some merit, I'm not going to lie. Like, other than the blanks and the S, the P is a pretty good tile in that pool compared to a lot of the other ones, because it also scores pretty well. And, I mean, with that hook, like, I could also get plays like Jeeps potentially later in the game, maybe. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think I should actually sack the 6 and hold back the P. If the pool weren't so vowel heavy, then I would definitely play the P, because I want those points and the turnover, but there is definitely value to retaining the hook. So, I mean, the bot probably has, I'm sure has at least an S with, with Sebid. I would think. Like, there's no way it's going to play that without an S, and maybe a blank too, right? Like, that's another thing. If I think the bot is going to just bingo anyway with sevens, like, keeping the P-hook is probably a good thing for me, just in reserve. I don't know. Very tough turn here, guys. I really don't know what to do. I could definitely see going either way on this one, honestly. But I think I'm going to play refix and hold the hook. Because it's going to... It could be annoying for the bot to deal with, potentially, without opening something else. So, let's do it. Huh. Interesting. So, I still only have two vowels. I'm a little bit surprised. Uh, proning. I think, I think that just got added, right? It's not going to play here. I'm pretty sure proning is a word now. I think it used to not be, but it just got added in the new update, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm not honestly positive. Oh, jeez. Okay. He had both blanks and the S. Gosh, okay. Uh, wow. That's uh, interesting. Am I down 57? I don't think I can come back without a bingo. Most likely. The pool is clunky. He's going to score a lot above refix, though, probably, with those two W's out. I, don't, I guess I could fish for, like, non-drip and prefix, but that's very unlikely. There's only one D left, and it's going to give back so much counterplay. I mean, I don't... I just don't see myself winning after this, probably. Because then he can just play, like, on the bottom left, block that, and, yeah, what am I doing? I don't think I can do that. I think I need to somehow open a little bit here. Maybe something to the E? I could play ignore. This pool is pretty bad. Like, I'd rather keep a more balanced sleeve. I could play off NN and fish for agitprop. <laughs> is that crazy? Probably. I mean, there are a lot of A's and T's left. Trade two, going for agitprop? Yeah, that's just crazy. I, I also need to score. I, I also kind of... Is there any way I can, like... See, I'd love to do something like this. If I could set up, like, my G or something, like RIP or RIN, but I can't play IR. <sighs> Prog? No, that, that makes GE. Sorry, that doesn't work. How about NOM? Maybe. I mean... I just... I don't know, because it's like, it doesn't open anything. That's the problem, and I'm not I'm not going to really have that much with prefix, I don't think, at this point. So nine, I'm down 38. 
Maybe I can somehow chase stick it later in the game? I doubt it. Nah, there's like Jar and Jut and stuff next to Guan. It's like I'm just down a little too much, I think, to go for something like that. What else could I maybe do? Like, nope. Probably pretty easy to block, too. How about something with, to this UT, like Pignut? Input, maybe input. Input for seven. Going for like, Outrang or something. Or two eyes off. This isn't crazy, guys. Like, I, I just don't, I don't think I can win after Nob down 37. It just, my rag isn't good enough. There aren't enough scoring spots. Like, I, I think I need to bingo. See, the problem with not playing above refix is that if he's got a W, he's going to score like 30 there and probably just outrun me. I just, the, but it's like, the double edged short is like, if I don't play there, he can do that, but if I play there, I just block everything, and then what am I doing? So, yeah, I mean, nope is an option. Doesn't feel that hard for this to get blocked, though. I mean, you just put like WAN or anything, and then what am I doing? I, I think I have to open another bingo line, guys. I, I really just, I don't see how I win this game without Bingo. I really just don't, honestly. So, I mean, what if I, if I do this? Nah, it's not gonna work. He just plays a crossroad 12 and blocks everything. So I think I kinda like input. I think it's better than Pignut because I can end in like ING, which is a little bit easier to play above. But yeah, I, I think I have to do something like this. So let's do it. Huh, I got the J, it's not good. Now just a down. I mean, there's only one in the bag. This probably never wins, right? Uh, I mean, what can I even draw? I'm, I'm down too much. You outrange Argonaut, but I mean, so you gives me bingo in two spots. But it's not enough, right? It just plays something above a refix and wins. So anything I can, what if I save the Jays? Is there anything I can get? Like Nightjar doesn't work. I'm down too many points here, guys, I think. Yeah, I think it's time to throw in the towel. I, I just don't think I can win. Because, yeah, if I play Joe, I'm down 72, right? If I hit the U, I do have Argonaut and Outrange. Outrange through the E and Refix, and Argonaut through the A and a down. But, again, the problem is he just blocks the higher scoring Outrange. He just plays, like, TEW or whatever. He's still up, like, 90. Argonaut's only 60. I lose by at least 20. It's just not even close. So... Yeah, I can't win here. So, all right, let's just play join GG. Yeah, so that's uh, that's a shame. But, yeah, the, I mean, I, I think I just, the, at the end of the day, right, like on that kind of board, if the bot had both blanks and the S, like it was just going to be really, really hard for me to win. Like, I, I wonder if it had everything when it played seven. Maybe it just had one S and one blank. Maybe it had both blanks. I have no idea, but I guess we'll find out. All right, and the bot plays two for 32. Uh, I probably honestly should not even go out, right, given how bad the pool is. Yeah, I probably shouldn't even go out, but I uh, at this point, it's only going to matter for spread. And I'm not sure if I want to spend the energy trying to figure out my best end game sequence here. Like I could maybe even U stick the bot. Probably not though. Yeah, because it's got like up and on. I mean, it probably can't even go out in two. Like I guess I could just play like rib, and then go out in two from there, but. I don't know. Let's just go out, guys. I don't want to overanalyze this. So, all right. GG. 353 to 409. <sighs> kind of a frustrating game. I mean, it was it was tight. I was down a bit. Then I clawed back with Siders. And then, yeah, after Sebid, I mean, I just... I don't know what I could have really done about that. I guess a refix versus prefix was a very interesting turning point of the game that we should probably look at a little bit. But 
Yeah, generally speaking, I don't feel too bad about how I played. Wall looks fine on my first rack. And the bot, what did the bot do here again? Oh, silly, interesting. Didn't want to play Malik. Keeps AMR, so six point sacrifice, but yeah, AMR is just a much more solid leave than AIR, because keeping the M is a nice tile, since the, the M and the H are sort of, I call them like insurance policy tiles, because like they're really good for bingoing, but if you don't bingo, they're a nice insurance policy, because they're still three or four points, so they can give you a good scoring plane. You don't risk getting stuck with all one pointers, so they're just really handy tiles to have. Yeah, Fave, I think, was a nice aggressive play here. Uh, no bingos quite, close to stuff like Horseman or Menorahs or Ramnos. But not quite there. Ram's horn even would have been pretty cool. Nitrate looks good. Uh, pout. Yeah. I guess that's fine. Yeah, the S is a pretty useful tile for Sharn, so it seems like a reasonable play. Thank looks best by a long shot. Bot bingos. Yeah, I think Bam is... I guess I could have played bad. Should I have played bad to save the M? Maybe I should have played bad. I don't know. The pro See, the problem, though, is the bot is pretty likely to go there anyway. I'm not even sure how much it matters, so might as well just take the points, probably. And then, yeah, here, I mean, okay, come on. Like, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. No way. Yeah, this is the... I, I just don't think it's worth it. Like I said, I'm, I'm good with trade six here. I, I definitely want to see some new tiles. Bot plays Guan. Saving the Z, interesting. Yeah, I could see not wanting to do that, especially after a trade six where I have a random rack, and I could easily... Hit for a lot of points there. So keeping it tight with the S seems fine. Um, oh, Sharni. I forgot about Sharni. Wow. I Honestly, I would not have been sure that was good. It's a very weird six because Sharnier and Sharniest are not good. It's just a Y hook that doesn't compare. Yeah, that's clearly a better play. I mean, it really cleans up the rack very nicely. It's more points. Yeah, I just definitely... I did not come up with that at all. Wow. Yeah, I need to read my sixes, I guess, because Sharni is... Not ringing a bell, to say the least. So, okay, that's a that's a mistake for sure, a fairly significant one. Bot plays Orzo, setting up an S. It's a bit aggressive with S blank blank still left, especially after a play like V that probably signals a strong rack. I might have, well, I don't know, bio isn't so exciting. I guess it's reasonable, because often if I do play there, then the bot will get counterplay, so it's not unreasonable. Yeah, Ciders, I think, is absolutely forced. And so, yeah, bot plays Sibid, keeping AS blank, yeah. I mean, that's pretty clearly best. There's one blank left, but the odds of me having it and having something good worth playing there by making it an S is pretty slim. So that's definitely warranted aggression here, because now the bot isn't really up much. Its position is not that good. So taking some chances here seems reasonable. And yeah, here, this was this was interesting. See, so obviously, prefix is higher on equity. I saw it, I thought about it, but again, I figured this is a pretty Val-heavy pool, so saving the P for balance is nice, and that hook could potentially have a lot of upside for me for either maybe a bingo or just a big, like, J-play or something later in the game. So I'm I'm not sure. Maybe I should have just played Prefix. Like, that extra turnover is nice. As it turns out, the bot had both planks in the S, so it probably wasn't going to matter too much, but yeah, interesting decision. Curious uh, what you guys think. Should I have played the P? Was I correct not to play the P and it just didn't work out? I don't know, but... Interesting turn. Yeah, and the bot bingos, and yeah, here, I mean, I spent a while, I don't know. Maybe Gorp isn't crazy. I didn't think about that. It's actually not a crazy idea. Because if the bot tries to block on one side, I could still at the other side. Yeah, I mean, this is not a good leave, but I don't hate Gorp. It's also more points than input, so it should ensure that if I do manage to bingo, I should win. And also, maybe, honestly... 29 points. I guess maybe within 28. If I the bot is a bad rack, I could maybe draw stuff like Ninja and Ag and win even without a bingo. Yeah, Gorp is a good play. I missed it, unfortunately. I saw Prefix, but I only thought about Palm, which doesn't really create a threat, and I feel like this was pretty unlikely to win, especially with this clunky Aleve. Pion, yeah, again, this just doesn't threaten anything. Like, these P's are not going to help me. I just, I don't see how I'm winning after this. Like, a 30-point deficit on this board is very significant. It's going to be very hard to make up. So, yeah, input was probably not a great play, honestly. Like, I'm just not likely enough to hit a bingo there, I don't think. And it often will get outrun. Yeah, this was not a great play. Gorp looks great here. Like I said, it scores a lot more. It scores enough that if I somehow do get a bingo, I should win. And maybe, like I said, gives me some chances at Jawan, Ninja, other plays with the J that could potentially outrun the bot if, if I don't even bingo, depending on what it has. So... 
Yeah, a bit of a missed opportunity here, unfortunately. Uh, input, I'm, I'm not at all happy with that play. That was pretty bad. And the bot just decides to outrun here. Yeah, like I said, there's no no reason to fish off the J because it never wins. So might as well just take the points and uh, save some spread. And yeah, again, I probably shouldn't go out here, guys, but game was over. I didn't really care at this point, so just went out. Yeah, so all right, not my cleanest game. Um, I mean, the two turns I, I think I regret the most were V, missing the Sharni hook. That was just a word knowledge thing, I just or word finding. I just I didn't see it. And honestly, if I saw it, I would not have been nearly confident enough it was good. Like, it rings a bell a little bit, but uh, I definitely would not have been sure enough to play it. And then, uh, yeah, refix versus prefix is questionable. Hard to say it's a clear mistake, though, but yeah, info is terrible. I, I should have just played Glorp. Didn't, uh, I just got a little too locked into the mentality that I had to bingo, I think, and I sacrificed way too many points. So, yeah, not my cleanest game, but had some good plays, too. I'm um, happy with a couple of the plays I made, and very interesting. So, unfortunately, that does mean I won't be able to get to 45 wins, as I now have uh, 56 losses. So, that's a shame, but um, I tried my best, you know. Uh, it, was, it was a good effort, and... Still going to uh, try to bring my A game if I can the last two games and maybe get 42 up to 44 in the W column. So we'll see how that goes, guys. But in any case, really appreciate all your support and uh, hope to see you all for game number 99 as we enter the final two games of the series. So thanks so much again for all your support. Really appreciate you guys watching these videos, and I will see you soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.